This is the story of a city creating a new way to invest in its future. For years, the city looked for external investments to support its regeneration. However, the investments rarely provided a long-term solution, as investors were more interested in the profit they could make than the place or the people. One day, the city council decided things had to change. How can we think differently about improving the city? Now, they recognized that one area they could influence is the way they buy what the city needs and how they spend money. So that public institutions do this fairly and transparently, they use an essential mechanism called public procurement. But the council recognized procurement had often been driven by price rather than overall quality. And because of budget reductions, they urgently needed to do more with less. The search to find partners to help create this change was on. Other public institutions in the city cared about the place and the people and had the resources to influence the city's future. By working together, they could harness the power of public procurement to make a greater impact. But to make a difference, the public institutions had to understand where they could introduce change. So they analyzed what they spent and where the money went by type of business and by sector. The results helped them to identify areas where they could change practices and behaviors to spend public money differently, enabling them to improve how public money could address the city's needs and support the well-being of their communities, the resilience of the local economy, and the sustainability of the environment. So, for the past two years, We've been sharing this story and practice through the Making Spend Matter Urbact network with other cities across Europe, supporting them to start their own journey. How is your city using public procurement to make public spend matter?